Rage. Live for a very short amount of time. On, uh... Twitch TV. I'm doing some prep work. I'll be on YouTube in about an hour. But, uh... What we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading over there. Um, we had our celebration stream the other day. It was kind of nice. It was for uh, 100 subs on YouTube. It's actually monumental for me. <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. Thank you. But, uh, now that we've gotten rid of that build, now we have, um, two builds that I want to go over, uh, there. Because I'm going back to work starting tomorrow. I'm finally healthy. Um, so now, the, uh, mission is to do a dream workshop today, uh, that goes over, um, what was planned, which is Deadeye. And then uh, what w wasn't planned, which is Lone Star. Um, I'm going to get a little more in-depth over here. Because uh, the Dream Workshop is more of like a brief overview of builds. Uh, whereas uh, what I can do over here is you just get a behind-the-scenes look. You are now entering a safe area. I'll transfer this over to YouTube as well. But um, you get a first... You get first dibs uh, if you check it out over here. Um, but yeah, this is what we're doing. We did the, uh, we made this the other day. Lone Star. Oh, buddy. Crit chance, optimal range. Don't really need the optimal range. You could use the stability. Um, or headshot damage accuracy. Caduceus. Yeah, probably this guy. Um, yeah, it's, um, kind of a big deal right now to do uh, what we need to do, balance our builds out. Yeah, I should probably strip that other big owl of anything important. A really good mod there. Make sure this guy's doing what he needs to be doing. Accuracy. See, that's, uh, you know what? I'm not against it for this one because this one's supposed to be the one I open up with, but, um, any amount of headshot damage might be better at this point. I may just sweep that in there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll mess with it later. I like having the uh, accuracy on there. Reduce the ridicule. Because uh, I like to shoot this guy at range. You know? Um, it's This build is going to have to be able to take people down uh, at a distance and up close. Uh, this is this is the gun that's going to have to be the one, the playmaker up close. It's replacing the swift um, variant. So we're going all the way down to red. So it's going to be my red guy. Placing this one. Uh, Predatory Swift. This guy was my heel gun up close. It, it, what you would, I would already have stacks. So it wouldn't this guy wouldn't need to do the damage. Or I would do it against NPCs with this guy. You know, build the stacks up and then switch to this guy. The Vicious Deadly. Ooh, the damage. Keeping my health high. With the Predatory Heal proct. But now we have the deadly predatory one, so we can still get damage no matter what's going on. We can maintain it during the fight. Um, this one just has vicious for that increased crit chance. Um, there's going to be some theory that I'm going to fucks with. Um, on this build in particular. Uh, and it's going to be pretty easy to fucks with it uh, very quickly. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, so here's a thought. <laughs> um, there's some theory that's been bouncing around in my head lately. Um, there's issues with critical hit damage as you stack it. Um, the additional contributions, uh, they get worse and worse. Uh, that's why those 4% bonuses, they start becoming inconsequential. Um, they're almost not even worth having. Um, versus some of your other options. Uh, it's just the way the numbers add up. Um, for crit damage. Uh, you can reference, um, uh... Marco's style uh, and his research on it, but um, I was thinking because of that, <clears throat> you know, I could do something where I reroll this crit damage on the backpack for stability because I was trying to think of why. Why is it? That we can't get away from this meta surrounding the striker build. And, um, I, I think it may have something to do with the. Uh, excessive amount of stability in that build. This is 30%, right? So, if I wanted to combat, try and provide a build as an alternative for people who, you know, want to get off of that, <laughs> that striker binge that they've been on for the past, you know, since 1.8, 1.8.1 update, uh, because... There will be a nerf. Uh, maybe I should provide them with something that will give them a feel that is similar to what they've had. Something because it's it's honestly they they've had that huge bonus to stability and it's been like having training wheels on. They may need they may need something that will ease them back into normal stability levels. So maybe this would be the first move, right? To um, roll this guy, the backpack, for stability. And then they can roll this off later and get that 8% damage back. Right? I'll, I'll do this first. This is, this is just an idea, a theory on what may or may not help the community <laughs> at large. I think this will. I think this, honestly... Um, stands a chance, right? Because that is one of the key aspects of Striker that keeps people coming back to it for more, besides the damage and the sustain. So, and on the backpack, it's arguable to roll for that sustain because the health roll is a little bit lesser than on, like, the knee pads and the chest piece, right? So it's you can you can make that statement, but let's talk about these knee pads too. Um, the health rule is fairly high; it's comparable to the chest piece. You could rule crit damage, but again, we were talking earlier about how the crit damage um, it's as you stack crit modifiers to the stack it you get less and less of a bonus. So I was thinking perhaps in this case, instead of going for the crit damage modifier here, which I know, we're, we are a firepower build, but um, maybe mechanically, maybe in the vein of having 
a sturdier damage dealing build because we're using smart cover you know it's uh the, the play style that I'm trying to espouse and give people involves Big Al using that cover shooter you know having health and being sturdy is important it's part of it you gotta let predatory do its job and heal you so this is actually a good option and especially if that eight or nine percent on the crit damage you know if this crit damage really isn't doing as much as you'd hope because both of my lmgs have the 19 percent mods right they're both running the 19 percent mods you can't get it on the grip which is a shame so it would make sense to try and roll those crit damages on the backpack or the knee pad, but we also have deadly on both of them. So how much how much more can I be pushing it with those eight and nine percent? Like how much more am I getting out of it? And then additionally, I'm gonna have I'm gonna reroll this shotgun for another like seventeen percent crit damage. Like is another eight or nine? Like we're we're about four deep on these teens whereas i'm gonna have a eight or nine on a on a backpack or a knee pad you know i'm, I'm already getting diminishing returns on these stacks in the teens i'm imagining you know i'm, I'm not it's not looking too good on um everything else so let's yeah we need uh crit damage Boy, this might take a few rolls, but you know, if, if you get my logic, you know, I think that may make this work a little bit better. I think so. Yeah, it's the hope. <clears throat> and we've got crit chance on pretty much everything that's got the option for it the mask, the uh, holster, the gloves. So, there's the crit damage. Even a max roll, I think. Or is it up to 19? I don't remember. I think it's 17 on gloves. Yep, there you go. Gloves. Cool. Alright. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Everything's where it probably should be. The only other thing to consider, really, is this electronics roll, because it's not helping me anywhere. Um, I don't need it. It helps when, when you're making a crit build. Electronics isn't bad. It's not bad. Um, but we're making a uh, smart cover build. Which needs a lot of stamina. Needs a lot of uh, upfront um, damage. Which is the, you know, the firepower. Where's my crits at? Because that's the other thing that electronics influences on pulse is the crit chance, crit damage. Um, or the basic pulse is what you usually proc when you shoot somebody through uh, conceal or, you know, what have you. So we're up at 12. Where are we at? Crit chance. Okay, so we're up at 50. That's pretty damn good. And I think that's on the vicious. So then we're at 40 on the red one. Let me check to make sure. So the red one's right there. Yep, 40. Okay. Hmm. It's good. That's a good number. It's not the best. It's a good number, though. So what should I do here? Um, I want more firepower. Because uh, the way firepower works... Let me go back to that screen. Actually, a character. Firepower, firearms increase uh, weapon damage by... Uh, and then it's a percent. Thousand percent. I would get a whole thousand percent off of the roll... 
<clears throat> whereas I'm getting like one or possibly two percent on my crit chance crit damage off of the electronics I can live without it I can live without the electronics I'll be a-okay if I need to I can roll back to it don't need the ammo cap that's the one thing that I'm gonna be sad about is that I'm doing a stat roll uh, when you're on Lone Star, your backpack can be a resist, and it should be. Uh, you have so much ammo on this build, it is ridiculous. But uh, perhaps, uh, because I'm doing uh, dual big owls, it might behoove me to have an ammo roll, but I doubt it. I think I'm going to have way too much as it is. But here we are. Look back at the pulse, I'll show you real quick. Oh damn, actually it dropped pretty fast. I think there's a uh, drastic drop off at a certain point, and I lost four percent. I think it's like below uh, a hundred. Whoops. Oh uh, well, maybe I might I might bump that back. Ah, <laughs> uh, it should be fine. Anywho, we'll see. We'll test it out. We'll test it out. Um. Uh, you know, I, th I think that's the move. I think it's the way to play it. If not, I'll have to get a new Lone Star backpack. Maybe that's on the next, uh, thing. I could have just screwed that up. Uh, health on kill on the vest. I'm not against it. You need some sort of sustain to bring you back into the fight. Then you don't need ammo. So this is kind of a fun thing for, like, uh, if you're training in the underground or something like that, and you're trying to build up your... <laughs> I'm gonna, I mean, I, that's what I'm gonna use this for. I'm gonna do this for PvP and stuff in the Dark Zone, but I'm also gonna take this in my, uh, Dark Zone and in my survival missions, just so I can get the weeklies done and level up my, uh, underground stuff a little bit quicker. Hopefully. I hope that's how that works. Thoughts and prayers, people. Um... Oh, man, other than that, uh, I think this is set. Then we got to look at Deadeye. I think that's, uh, you know, that's, if if we're, this is forward-thinking theory as far as my builds, okay? We're addressing the knee pad health theory. We're addressing the stability for a better, brighter tomorrow for our striker for, uh, brethren, okay? Because we have to think about them as well, okay? We have to. We have to welcome them back into the fold. Strikers are going to be nerfed, and they're going to need somewhere to go. And uh, we can give them a place to go. Um, and I think, I think Lone Star is where a lot of the DPS-leaning uh, ones will go. The, the ones who like to live, who hate dying, who hate dying a lot... Um, they're gonna go toward Nomad. So, um, it's, you know, to each their own. Yeah, we'll keep the health on kill on that guy. That's fine. I think we're set. I might reroll this guy here. It's blind death resist. It's not really overly helpful, but we'll leave it there for now. I don't want to waste any rolls. So that covers Lone Star, the back end of Lone Star, and we'll quickly cover Dead Eye, and then uh, once I'm done here, we'll uh, we'll go over to YouTube and do the actual um, Dream Workshops. This is just the behind the scenes stuff. I figure I'd do this over here, and then I can uh, head over there and do the real thing. I want to document everything. You know what I mean. And explain the theory, the craft. Anybody who's actually interested in build mechanics, you know, because I mean, you can provide a build video, you know, explain the the, you know, the easy stuff. You know, like, oh, here are the stats. This is what I put in here. This is whatever. But you know, if you know, if you want to actually see, um, you know, what what actually goes into a build. You know, it's, uh, 
I don't know. It feels like there's there could be more to it than just the basics. Mm -hmm. Cool ahead and prepared. I don't think that's going to really fly. I think I'm going to take this off to reload speed, crit chance. I think I'm just going to put that guy away. I think he's done for now. Let's have a chat. I've got something you'll be interested in. Oh, crumb. Not enough room. Unforgiving deadly. Responsive unforgiving. Oh my goodness. Uh you don't want deadly. But maybe you do. Thompson? Because I haven't it hasn't been clear to me what to do with a Thompson. Check that real quick. Tommy Gun and Thompson. Um. Thompson. Tommy Gun. Okay. I wanted to check this out. Character. We are looking at a uh, range 16 meters. That is for the Thompson. Then the Tommy Gun. You're looking at the character. 16 meters. By golly. Uh. Hmm. So they both have an optimal range of 16 meters. That's kind of weird to me. I would have thought the Thompson maybe would have had, like... I know they they have Carefree. They both have Carefree. But I thought perhaps the Thompson would have a slightly better range. But they are, in fact, the same gun. I mean, the, the only difference, really, is that the Tommy gun has that, uh, you know, the barrel... Uh, magazine, whereas the Thompson has the, uh, you know, the, the long stick. Interesting. Deadly. Take that guy out. Um, and I'll take, meticulous determine. No, not that one. Go ahead. It's, we're still we're struggling. Find something I want here. Let's have a chat. I've got something you'll be interested in. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put Big Al away. Out of the way. Put Big Al away. The Tommies. Equip the, uh, oh, let's see, the devil to heal. All right, and then go ahead and put away Thompson. Okay. Did I not put away the Tommy gun, too? I don't remember. I think I'm oh. I got something new right here for you. Somehow. Now what? I'll I'll keep Big Al. Whatever. That's fine. Just put away the Tommies. Tommies and Thompsons. Um. Ah oh, man, do I really want predatory? I'm so conflicted. So, with Dead Eye, you don't need any crit chance. Right? So, there you go. Crit damage, marksman rifle, some health on kill. Crit damage, stacking it everywhere. Could probably use a new knee pad on this guy. Maybe if I get the opportunity. 
don't think there is dead eye in this. Oh, there is dead eye. Hey. Um. Even if you get diminishing returns on crits, like this kind of goes against what I just said earlier on Lone Star, right? Um. Dead eye. The emphasis is so high. It's so high on crits that um, you'd be foolish <clears throat> not to invest everything you possibly could into uh, crit damage, right? As much as you can. Um, yeah, even if this is a higher roll, this is still not as good. Um, it's just, it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, you just got to roll with what you got, you know, you're, you're dead eye. You got to do that damage. That's the whole, th your whole shtick. Like your offense is your defense. So... I have to figure out a series of talents that um, behoove uh, a dead eye that that are good to have between the devil and the heel. And it's like yes, uh, I know that the devil and the heel uh, half of the abilities that. Uh, the heal and fire, or what is it, fire and fury? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I know that half of them don't count because uh, they, they're like uh, headshot related. Actually, it's only one of them, right? Because uh, hitting proxy increases crit damage. Hitting uh, weak points increases uh, base damage. And then uh, the other one is uh, headshot to increase stability, body shot to increase headshot damage. So the only one that doesn't matter is this body shot. Don't get a bonus for body shots. Everything else, though. And the thing is, if I'm running both of these, the duration is increased by 15 seconds. That's 30 seconds of those bonuses. Uh, and the bonuses are no longer lost when swapping between Fire and Fury. Or swap between uh, Devil and Heal. That's why I'm running these two, so that when I'm out of ammo with one, I don't have to reload. I just switch to the other gun. I keep blazing. So that's why I was thinking, perhaps, perhaps, this could be, instead of the electronics firearms build that uh, normally you would think it would be, it's more of a firearms stamina build? Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, relying on the firearms to heal you. Um, but you lose 2,000. You lose 2k to proc things like, um, predatory, right? Which is a problem. I don't need either of these guns if I want to play a certain way. So, I need a new devil and a new heal. Um. Oh boy, it's just it's difficult, difficult decisions. Cause brutal doesn't help me. Deadly's cool. All right, so we're gonna look for. All right, so there's a heal, predatory, vicious. I mean, that'd be cool, except for Vicious. Cool ahead, Deadly. It's questionable. It's that, you know, it, it, you still get the headshot cooldown, though. Not the best. Your attention, please. For your protection, 
determined meticulous but skilled I may have to wait on it I might just run a, a tenebrae tenebrae's are cool enemy weak point reset skill cooldowns instead of having um it could be a really cool uh, asset to your team, even if you're just a high damage output guy. Uh, Tenebrae right there gives you utility to your team. Um, super cool. Super cool gun. Underrated. I wish people more, like, uh, more people liked it. Um, this is a gun I would use right here. Competent, unforgiving. I would reroll competent for uh, predatory. Uh, then, then just run this guy. Just, just crit. Just let this guy heal me. Keep me going. Just damage, damage, damage. Face roll. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. I don't know, I don't I don't think I have many options here. You pick up so many of those things and then you just <laughs> suddenly like confronted with the fact that you don't have many good ones. Determine meticulous. Would meticulous be cool? Or would determine be better for crits? You're killing stuff. Would you want lower? Hmm. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Do you want... Depends on your skills. What skills do you want? Do you want the damage? Do you want the stability? You don't get an overheal. You're pretty wimpy. You better kill him. You have two damage reduction options on you. It sucks that you have no overheal. Hmm. Damn. Determined would be cool. Having prepared on a stamina base is stupid. I wouldn't run cool head if I had determined, I'll tell you that. If I had determined, this is a deadly dominant. That one is fixable. Um, so deadly dominant. Shitters. Predatory vicious. Is this other guy? I can't really. There's no heal option here. That's on me. Are your ears burning, Agent? I think it would have to be this other guy. Heal, heal, heal. Determined. So we got meticulous. I 
I could get rid of competent, or get rid of prepared. Get rid of prepared. A deadly... Oh, buddy. Alright. It's choices. It's really, it really does come down to these, like, big choices that... Fucks with your style. I have sniper, can't really sort it by sniper. Be nice to have snipers. <clears throat> Not the devil. Not that one. Determined meticulous. I don't think I would want meticulous. I think I would want determined. Determined would be very chill. Uh, it would be similar to having uh, the other gun. The uh, we'll head deadly. I think I'll save this guy for one of those skill power ones. Potentially. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I think, I think we're gonna strip this guy. Devil. So I think there's a devil up here that we're using now, yep. It's this guy. All right, devil. Stability, optimal range. Don't need crit chance. Just need crit damage. No, we don't need that either. Optimal range stability, yep. Reload speed stability, sure. And crit damage rate of fire. Probably that. If I had to guess. Uh, reload speed, crit chance, no. Yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah. Let's get rid of Dominant. I don't know what we're going to put there. Devil. There you go. Mm-hmm. Um... I think this first variant is not going to use stamina. <sighs> yeah. I think, that's, I think that's the thing I've decided on. We're just not going to use stamina. Going to use. Uh, don't need exotic damage resilience. Need health. Agent, let's talk. Firearms and health. You increase your crit damage with more electronics. I've not decided. I've 
have not decided on um, what option to um, go with when it comes to the uh, <sighs> recovery method. We have health on kill. We have it. It's in here. We have like 10%. Uh, if we want it. I think that's an easy way to get it back. 15. Right? Because you don't have any crit chance. So going all in on your damage is fine. <clears throat> you can use health mods to bring in the health. You go to crit chance on these fellers right here. You're okay. I think that's okay. I think we're doing a-okay by this build. I know it's weird. It's going to feel weird for a little bit. We're going to have to optimize it. But, um... Maybe even run precision when the smart cover is not up. I just don't like the idea of having 3k stamina, man. I don't like it. It's just, it bothers me. Um... Maybe instead of health, we run. I don't know, man. Like, if we're at this range, possibly this is fine. I don't know. Not running predatory anymore, I know that much. All right. Well, See, we're up to 12%. 13 almost. Crit damage. Smart cover damage resilience really doesn't help you on this build. <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, you don't have any health. So... Uh, how about if I have them? Two, three, four. I have four pulse crit damages, but where are my crit chance? Or er, crit chances, but where are my crit damages at? That would be swell. Let's have a chat. I've got something to do instead. Two of those. Hmm. I don't know if I have any of those, to be honest with you. I this pulse has always been one of those things I just don't give a flying fuck about. Maybe this'll be like a time to have the damage. Mods, at least. Just crit chance. I think that might be one too many, actually. There was like four of them in the... One, two, three, four. Yeah, there was like four of them in the thing. Might be one too many, mod. Plus 
sec. Chance. That might be too many. Chance. I gotta look in my inventory. False crit damage. Another one. Oh, I think that was in knee pads. For this guy. There, four. Hey, we did it. We can replace these. I'll put these back on Lone Star. Lone Star can actually use them. Um. And we'll put these guys in. Cool. Um, same deal for you. Get the pulse, and then you get a pulse. Alright, so that will put me up to. Yeah, 20%. I think that's how that works. Don't quote me. Um, make a best attempt at it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, that's that feels good. That feels appropriate. Um Oh man, ammo consumption? Is that gonna be an issue here? Uh they're gonna be headshotting stuff. Do I want do I want skill haste? Oh boy. Hmm. Bring it down a little more. Hmm. See, I can bring my toughness up a little bit more. I would actually enjoy the smart cover. But now I've taken out the smart cover mods, so I may as well go all in on something. Maybe the skill haste would be better. Firearms skill haste. Do I have those? I might. Are your ears burning, Agent? All right. Well, I think we should give it a shot at least. Oh, what the fuck? I think that fucked it up. Somewhere. happened yeah, there's only one skill haste mod on there Register with 
There's a skill haste on that one. to switch over to YouTube be quick and in a hurry I think skill haste might be the thing to do be able to proc your uh, smart cover quickly proc your heal quickly those are your damage boosters if you have electronics that's what you want to do you want to get the damage out um, Firearms, firearms, yeah, I think that's everything. New agent has joined your team. Hey, Joker. I was actually about to log oh, off and then log back in in a minute. But, uh, I will be back on shortly. And I'll be on for, I'll be on for like a good, probably three hours. Alright. Let me see here. I think is to figure out the fuck. Devil. Oh. Alert! An agent is leaving the team. Deadly. All right, we're calling it quits here, guys. This is it. I'm headed over to YouTube. <laughs> I think I've done what I wanted to do. I'm not sure. Not even sure if I've done that much. We'll figure it out, though. I'll see you over there, though. Best of luck. Actual Dream Workshop on YouTube. I've been P2H on Twitch TV. Catch me over on my YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs>